Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I work on press on nails. I do for myself, I don't sell these ones. There's a video also explaining this already on my YouTube channel. The first thing you're going to need is this blue sticky tape that I purchased at Dollar Tree for a dollar. You can get at any office store that, says, uh, that sells office supply. All you need to do is create a little ball put it in your stand and stick the nail to it and put pressure on it so that nail don't go anywhere. So I'm using, uh, this was coughing full tips, uh, XL. I cut them a little bit so they can be not that long and make look more like a square tip for this tutorial. And the stand, I bought it on Amazon. It came two in one pack, was like less than $10 guys, very cheap. So the trick here is that you put the little ball of the blue tape. It's not tape, it's more like a molding. A lot of teachers use this to post their paper stuff in the walls, in the classroom, their poster and stuff like that. Very easy, comes out really easy and you can reuse this again for another press on nail if you also want to. You can also get it at Walmart. So once I make sure I have them all in place, this is how they look. Me personally, you guys will see how the nail tips have numbers so I don't get it confused. This is optional. Once again, this is for me. It's not for sale. So I can do whatever I want. That way I don't confuse my nail tips. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be applying a base coat because this is going to be a gel polish application. So I make sure all of them have a base coat and I'm using the Beetle brand. And once I'm happy, I will cure this base coat in my lamp for 60 seconds. This will allow the polish, any polish that we use, a gel polish or paint gel, whatever, to stay longer and done chip out of the nail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this one white. I'm also going to paint the big finger in white and the tiny finger in white. And the other two, I'm going to paint them in green. And I'm going to do two coats on each and between each uh, coat, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And of course, after I'm done with all the curing, I will make sure to wipe the sticky surface with a free lint alcohol wipe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue and paint those nail green and cure. So once I clean the sticky surface, I'm going to start painting the Grinch. And I have to say, this is not going to be perfect. This is going to be more of a beginner Grinch. Um, I can draw on paper. I can do some things in nails, like freehanded, like I'm doing now. I'm good at some things and not that great at others. This Grinch here, I think it was okay. Um, so you guys will judge by yourself when you see it, the finished product. At least you can tell who it is. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, so the first thing I did, it's pretty basic. Uh, I'm looking at the picture. I tried to do the outline first. And then once I was done with the outline, I cure. is very, very important that once you're done with something, you cure immediately. So that way it looks perfect and then you can move up to the next part. That way you don't mess up whatever you did, okay? So here I was happy with how it ended up looking. So now I'm trying to start the details uh, with the eyes and I'm using, everything I'm using is gel. Is the paint gels that I got from wish.com, which they are amazing, guys. Highly, highly suggest them. Um, even though they're from Wish, they end up being great, which surprised me. But I really, really love them a lot. I think uh, they work excellent. So here I'm doing the smile, and this brush is so perfect. This brush is from the nail boxes subscription. It is from the nail lab. And I really love it. And here you guys can see the picture on my cell phone. The one I was trying to follow from Google. And here I'm trying to do the hat. And like I stated, first do your outline, guys. And once the outline, you're happy with the outline, 
then you can cure it. Here you guys can see that I will go over and over because I think the hat was a little bit shorter and then I changed my mind and then I start painting all the way down just to make it perfect. And this is what it's all about. Um, take it easy, take your time, make sure you cure in between so you don't mess up the part that you already think is it's perfect and you can start moving up with the next part. Here, I'm gonna go all the way down with the red, and also I'm gonna extend that hat a little bit longer going down, and also I'm gonna go ahead and finish the white part of the Santa Claus hat. And here, I'm grabbing like a more gel to give it like like that um, illusion of coming out of the nail to have a thicker um, portion and the dot at the end I had a very thick thick uh, amount of gel polish so it can look outside of the nail and for some reason I haven't watched any Grinch movie I'm not a fan of a lot of Christmas movies um, I don't know why in some picture his eyes were yellow and other ones were white um, somebody told me it was because when he get mad or something his eyes get yellow and red when he gets like evil <laughs> but um, but I guess that's what it is you guys let me know in the comments I'm not a fan of the Grinch or any Christmas movies so let me know. And here you guys can see that I'm feathering out this black because in some of the pictures on Google, he got like some feathers, like fur coming out on the cheeks. And the, I'm doing just the black outline. Remember the black outline will bring dimension to your character. Um, it will give it a better shape. I think that the greens turn out to be a little bit fat on the face. But, I mean, in all the pictures, pretty much he's fat on the face. Even on the stickers that I have, you guys can see that as well. I have stickers, you know, um, but I wanted to draw him. I don't know why, because I had the stickers. But I think I wanted to do something different, you know. I wanted to draw him instead of using the stickers. I use other stickers for the other nails, um, like his dog. I need. I didn't know he got a dog, <laughs> but I used the dog for the other nail and other stickers as well. And here I'm just finishing the outline of the hat. Also, I'm gonna finish the outline of his neck as well. And of course, I have to cure this because I wanted to keep it safe. And then just finish the neck. And on this part, I'm like, hold on, I cannot maybe a, a red shirt, right? So I went and go ahead and cured this guy, and I went in with the red. And pretty much what I'm creating here is a little bit of a shirt for him. Very pretty. And once I'm happy, I cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Very easy. And then this is how they look so far, but let's work on this white nail. And you guys can see I had the stickers. Um, maybe I would do another tutorial. I don't know. We'll see. Just with stickers. Um, I tried to draw this one with the hand, with the fingers, and holding the wine cup. But the finger part was really hard. So that's why I decided to go with the sticker. And I'm using this tool here, which is amazing for stickers. It takes all the wrinkles out. And I really, really like it. So this is how they look so far. And now I'm going to work with the little one. With the little one, I decided to use the sticker of the dog. And I don't know what's up with these stickers. But when I try to take the dog out, boo, it breaking half. But that's okay. Um, I, I use it anyway. I try to make sure that I put it really well on the nail. And it was really hard to tell that it's cut in half. So I lined them pretty good and look how pretty he looks. And I will put top coat on top of this so they will look pretty nice. So this is how they look so far. Now I'm going to add an additional sticker at the bottom part. So now I will start working on the green nails and all I have to do is put a top coat and then use this fine green glitter. 
and I hold with the tweezers so it don't get on my fingers the glitter and just put a generous amount of glitter and once you're happy just cure in the lamp for about 60 seconds and it will be looking beautiful and perfect the next thing will be I'm um, placing some gel to give that 3d effect to the Grinch and you can use the, you can do this with any gel uh, like construction gel and this will create that the Grinch will pop out of the nail I'm also using these double size stickers uh, to stick my press on this is how they look I will use my favorite top cup to bring that shine back especially to that beautiful glitter and this will be the end of the nail tutorial I will just apply cuticle oil and I will be done and cure in the lamp before the cuticle oil duh <laughs> for 60 seconds so if you have any comments leave it in the description box uh, follow me on social media especially on Instagram that's where I stay more active I hope you enjoyed this Christmas nail tutorial if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!